Jason, the stress that comes from living in a global pandemic goes far beyond just making us feel scattered or out of control. Yeah, it can have a negative impact on our brain function. This week, Dr. James Rouse with the Human Grace Project shares tips to keeping our brains healthy. Hello, it's Dr. James, and this morning I woke up and I thought to myself, how do I share this story with you? Because I don't want to make you scared. I don't want to freak you out. I actually want to do something that's going to empower you. But the truth is, right now, most of us are under the kind of stress that has a direct impact on our brain. Not just in how we think, but literally changing the structure of our brain. In fact, chronic stress is shown to actually shrink our brain. And with that, our thinking is not as strong as it would be, our memory is not as good, our emotions are hair triggers to anger. Studies show that there's five things that we can do that literally not only help to lower stress, but help us to restructure our brain, actually help us to build a bigger brain, help our memory, help our emotions. Here they are. Number one, yoga. Now, I know you're gonna say, I don't do yoga. Well, here's what yoga is really all about. It's simply breathing. Just use your diaphragm, build deep breaths. You will lower stress, changes your brain. Number two, prayer. Now, it's not a religious thing, it could be a spiritual thing, it could just be you and nature. Just sitting and communing and being quiet or praying. Whatever it does for you actually changes the gray matter and the white matter in our brain. It helps with memory, it helps with emotions. Number three, you're gonna love this one, just taking a walk. Extra points for a vigorous walk. 20 minutes a day will reshape our brain. Number four, sex. Just knowing that sex builds our brain on all levels. Number five, you're gonna love this too because it's all about fat. Your brain is actually made of 60% fat. So you wanna get olive oil, fish, nuts, seeds, because when we're under stress, our brain uses more fuel in the form of fat. We wanna feed our brain good, healthy fats to keep it moving long and strong. So here's the takeaway. Stress is everywhere. Your brain is feeling it. You probably found yourself saying things and doing things you wish you never did, but here's an opportunity for a reset. Starting today, pick one, two, or all five of these. Compassionately take care of yourself. Give your mind an opportunity to grow. Help your emotions to stabilize. It's self-care turning into social activism because that's what the Human Grace Project is really all about. And our Micah Smith will continue this conversation with Dr. James later this morning. You can watch that on Denver 7 News for your Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, or Android device.